guys welcome back to the smart shoppers club my name is kelly for those of you who don't know i am a fashion reseller that just means i sell pre-owned clothing on the internet on platforms like ebay poshmark mercari and a few other ones so today i am going to be giving you guys a what sold video so what sold fast in june so all these items that i'm going to tell you guys about sold in about let's say like six days or less a lot of these are like honestly like three to five days so super quick so a lot of these items i either listed at the end of may and they sold in early june or i sourced them in june listed them in june and they sold in june <laughs> they sold really quickly so this month was like a good month where i'm just seeing a really good turnaround time for a lot of my items so i'm excited to show you guys that so i'm gonna be telling you guys when it sold what platform it sold on how much I listed it for, how much it sold for, and then what my net earnings were. So let's just get into it. First item that sold was this Adidas white shirt. This shirt was mine for my personal closet. It sold on June 5th. It sold on Macari. It I listed it for $13. She sent me an offer for $8. Um, of course, I accepted that. And my net earnings were $6.30 after the fee. Next sale was this Hannah Anderson dress bundle. So these were three dresses that I ended up sourcing from Goodwill. This sale was also on June 5th. It sold in Macari. I had it listed for $28. She sent me off for $28 and I just accepted it. And then my net earnings were $17.98. I have never sourced Hannah Anderson before. I've heard of it from the reseller community. So when I saw the dresses, I thought it was a great opportunity to bundle the dresses because usually when people are buying children's clothing, they want to buy it in bundle. They don't want to pay $10, $15, $20 dollars for just one dress. So put it in a bundle and it's sold. So I definitely will be on the lookout for more Hannah Anderson. And it definitely was a good flip. Next sale was this Cable Engage tie-dye shirt. I actually got this shirt for free from a free donation that I received probably back in March. Um, that video, I'll link that video for you guys to take a look at it if you want to. So this sale was on June 2nd and this sold on Macari. I listed for $12. She sent me a, an offer for $8 and of course I accepted it and my net earnings were $7.20. Next sale was this Lula Row Black. It's called the Gigi Shirt Sleeve Top. It was kind of like a slinky top. It was new with tags. I actually sourced this from a local thrift store. This sale was on June 10th. It sold on eBay from, with offers to watchers. I always send offers on my items as soon as I see off as soon as I see watchers no matter what and a lot of my sales actually come for that so definitely do that don't be lazy don't wait for them to send you an offer send them the offer I listed that for $19 I sent her an offer for $15 and she accepted it on my net earnings after fees were $13.98 so that took just about that took 24 hours to sell. Next sale was this Justice Girls bundle. So this was a seven piece bundle of Justice items. They were in excellent pre-owned condition. I got this from that same local thrift store. This took one day to sell, it sold on eBay. I listed it for $35. I got uh, an offer, I got an offer for $20 and I just accepted it. And my net earned was $17.57. So again, another children's bundle. So I'm definitely going to, not a lot, not all the time, but I'll probably start picking up more children's clothing. So of course you wanna pick up items that are the same brand. It could be a different brand also, but generally the same brand and of course the same size. Bundle them together and yeah. Next sale was this Lulu Lemon pair of leggings. I got this again from that local thrift store. This sale was on June 13th and it did take one day to sell and they sold on Facebook Marketplace. I listed them for $30 and of course they sold for $30 because you cannot send offers on Facebook Marketplace. So this was a good sale. I actually sold a not a lot of lululemon items but so far um i've been selling on facebook marketplace using shipping as an option for about a month now and i've already sold like seven lululemon pieces that weren't really moving for me on poshmark i didn't have them for a long time but they just still weren't moving for me as fast as i wanted them to move and they all sold within three to five days on facebook marketplace so definitely list your lululemon on facebook marketplace next sale was on june 8th it was this J. Crew herringbone blue jacket. I actually sourced this from Goodwill in a, 
around October-ish of last year. So it took about five days to sell. I listed it for $25. She sent me an offer for $20. I accepted it. And after the fee was taken out, I earned $15. And this sale was on Poshmark. So I was glad to kind of just get rid of that item. Next sale was this Columbia Omni Shade Plaid Top. I have sold Columbia Omni Shade before. So I so when I saw it at this at the local thrift store for the uh, grab a bag sale, I immediately picked it up. I figured this was a very easy $10 to $15 flip. Last Columbia top I picked up also sold for around $10. This one actually sold within 24 hours. It sold on Poshmark. I listed it for $18. She sent me off for $10 and I just accepted it. That's around where comps were at. My earnings after fees were $7.05. Next sale was this bra bundle, so a sports bra bundle. These bras were mine. I decided to sell them. So this was a sale that actually sold on Poshmark. It sold within just a few hours. It was a Victoria's Secret pink bra, a Victoria's Secret sports bra, sport bra, and then a Forever 21 sports bra. I listed them for $20. I sent an offer for $15 and she accepted it. And my net earnings after that were fifteen, were twelve dollars. So after I accepted the offer, I just was curious. I was like, "Wow, these sold super fast!" So I ended up looking up one one of the um, one of the sports bras, and I probably could have got at least twenty dollars for the um, pink sports bra. So oh well. I mean, I got rid of them. I made money on it. They were from my personal closet, so no loss. Next was a sale on June twenty second. It was a Lafayette 148 red dress and I showed this item in my haul that I just um, posted earlier this week. I'm going to link that below so you guys can check that out. So this sale was on Poshmark. I sourced this from Goodwill. I listed it for $65. It sold for full asking price for six of $65 and my net earnings afterwards were $52. So this was a great sale. I was a little shocked that it sold so quickly. I figured it would sell, but it just sold so quickly. So A, Lafayette One Free, a great brand to resell on many different platforms. I didn't wasn't sure if it would sell as quickly on Poshmark. Thought maybe it would sell a little quicker on eBay or something like that. But I was pleasantly surprised. So it did well. And then of course it was plus size. So once again can't go wrong with that that always flies out of my closet very quickly next sale was on june 22nd and this was a Maeve paisley print dress it had blue and red in it it was a really paisley uh it was a really cute paisley print color and it was flowy i liked how it had this like lace up detail in the back with the tassels that's one reason why i picked it up so Maeve is that brand where it's a hit or miss sometimes it sells sometimes it doesn't well, it's sold on ebay offers to washers again i listed it for 34 dollars sent her an offer for $30 and she accepted it and my net earnings after that were $26.54. Next sale was on June 25th and it was this 11 C's chambray jumpsuit. This was from my personal closet. 11 C's just so you know is sold at Anthropology, another brand that I don't typically pick up but again this was from my personal closet. Um, it sold on Poshmark and I listed it for $35. I sent her offer for $30 and she accepted it. And then my net earnings after that were $24. And this sold in just two days. So that was a really good sale. Um, I figured this would sell because something I've been doing lately is going into these solds on Poshmark or on eBay or whatever. And I've been looking at tops, I've been looking at dresses, I've been looking at jumpsuits and just seeing what's selling. And jumpsuits during that time in the week were hot. A lot of them were selling. They were selling for consistent every anywhere from $25 upwards depending on the style, depending on the brand. So that's just one little tip if you want to know what's selling, what's doing good. The next item to sell was on June 23rd and this was the vintage coach belt. It had the signature C logo. It was brown and cream. This was another item from that Goodwill haul that I posted earlier this week. It sold in just two days. It sold on eBay. I listed it for $22, sent an offer for $18 and she accepted it and my net earnings were $15.97. I absolutely love selling Coach. It's always has, it always has been a consistent seller for me. Belts, shoes, 
handbags and particularly handbags. Next sale was on June 27th and this was again another item from that Goodwill haul. Um, this was by Alo Yoga. Again that was a like gym line or fit not gym line but a expensive like fitness brand. They were gray and the style was called a cool fit capri pant. They took about six days to sell on Poshmark. I listed them for $25 she sent me off for $20 and absolutely of course I accepted it and after the fees were taken out I was left with $16 so I was kind of surprised like at this because the comps were like everywhere comps were anywhere from like $10 to $15 really 20 if I was lucky so the fact that I listed over 20 and got 20 25 and got 20 for them I was like whoa okay <laughs> next sale was on june 28th and this was a shane boho midi dress it had a button-up detail it was super cute it was from my personal closet i actually had bought bought it earlier in the summer along with this dress this dress is also by shane it took about two days to sell it sold on ebay i listed it for 23 dollars sent an offer for 16 dollars she accepted the offer and my net earnings after fees was 13 dollars and 90 cent so shane is definitely not something i would pick up ever <laughs> not the bins not the goodwill never <laughs> just never <laughs> but it's not it's not the resale value it just isn't there but it's from a personal closet made some money on it why not <laughs> next item to sell next sale was on june 28 lily pulitzer leggings so they were upf leggings they were the full length leggings they sold in about three days on ebay they were from my personal closet so i actually bought these from a local store um local thrift store i wore them a few times they kind of got tight i don't know if i gained weight or what <laughs> but i was like okay time to sell these and listen those were 57 dollars i sent her offer for 50 dollars and she accepted it and my net earnings were 44 dollars and 52 cents now i looked up the comps on ebay for these i looked up comps on poshmark for these comps were solid 45 to 55 dollars so i got a few offers within i would say within 24 hours of listing them i got a few offers for like 42 dollars so i kept getting an offer for 42 dollars i'm like no i can at least get and i would count it like 45 or 50 and they wouldn't accept it i'm like no i, I know i can at least get at the very least 45 i want that extra three dollars three dollars is three dollars okay <laughs> so i'm like okay let me just be patient so patient my patience paid off and the last sale was on june 30th and this was another item from that goodwill haul this was a toy bird satchel so i looked this style up it was called like the 797 satchel bag there weren't that many comps because there was a good amount of comps and they were selling for a good amount of money mine had some stains on the front it also had a couple of makeup stains inside because of that reason i listed it low i listed it at 65 dollars she sent me off for 40 dollars actually before that within a couple hours of having it listed i actually got an offer for 40 dollars on poshmark i counted at 50 and they didn't accept it i was like mm, maybe i should have accepted that offer so whatever so three days goes by and i get this offer on ebay so i'm like absolutely i'm gonna accept this 40 dollars offer so my net earnings was 34 dollars and 27 cents so that was a great sale and by the way i did source that item from the flea market so again the flea market i talked about this a little bit in my other um the goodwill thrift three market flea market haul video but i do like to switch up sometimes go to the flea market source some inventory from there sometimes people have their items sometimes they have wholesale there's wholesale flea markets then there's also items from people's personal closets or wherever and they have those items for sale so definitely a good sourcing opportunity